Wow. Mm, mm, mm. This is some breaking news, family. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Breaking news out of Memphis that um, uh, uh, two people are dead, five are injured following the shooting at Memphis restaurant owned by Yo Gotti's mother. Okay? Chaos erupted overnight as a shooting took place at a Memphis restaurant, leaving two dead and several others injured. According to the local reports, Memphis Police Department and officers were called to the restaurant prior for a shooting just after 11 p.m. Um, on Wednesday. Cops say gunfire erupted in the parking lot following a confrontation inside the restaurant that eventually spilled outside. When responding officers arrived at the scene, they found two men who were suffering from gunshot wounds. So sad. Um, police said one was pronounced dead at the scene and one was taken to Regional 1 in critical condition and he later died. Police say four other men and one woman were also hit by bullets. They were all taken to a nearby hospital in private vehicles. So far, their conditions are currently unknown. A TMZ TV and local reporter notes that the restaurant is reportedly again owned by Yo Gotti. The Memphis Police Department shared a post to a public confirming that he that the unfortunate incident did happen. Um, the statement read, of course, on March 29, 2023, at 11.17, officers responded to a shooting outside the 6980 Winchester. Outside of 6980 Winchester, two male victims were located and one was pronounced deceased at the scene while the other one was transported to ROH Critical, where he was later pronounced deceased. Five additional victims, four males and one female, arrived at area hospitals, and preliminary information indicates that the, stim the shooting stemmed from an altercation that started inside of the club. Author Horn... The owner's lawyer also released a statement to outlet WREG saying that they are devastated by the events that took place at the restaurant. On behalf of Pride, they've been in business for 10 years and nothing like this has ever happened at their establishment. Horn also said that there was an altercation between two groups of guys. It happened outside in the parking lot, and it ended up in a shootout. Nothing happened inside the restaurant. Despite many conflicting reports, they were closing, and this happened at the end of the evening in the parking lot. While Gotti uh, does own Pride, a public source tells TMZ that he was not in Memphis last night, and none of his family members were among the victims of the tragic shooting. The rapper has not yet released a public statement uh, regarding the incident. What is known is that the assailant or assailants fled after carrying out the mass shooting and are still at large. Although a dispute broke out, police have not said what exactly triggered the initial altercation. As of this Thursday morning, images online show officers investigating the scene with crime tape roped around the perimeter of the restaurant as patrol cars are seen parked in front. Local outlets also reported that some of the people were seen crying in front of the crime scene. Um, it's interesting. Um... For some reason, a lot of people like Glorilla. 
uh, Gloria Hallelujah is her name. But it's interesting that she had a, a message for, uh, I mean, she got a message from Russell Simmons. And he's been in the game for a long time, those of y'all who know him. Uh, Russell Simmons has been in the game a long time, and he has seen a lot of artists run through their money and wanted to give some advice to one of the newest artists out there right now. As we previously reported, the uprising star Glorilla has signed to Yo Gotti's label CMG after releasing her viral hit FNF. Let's go. Um, <laughs> while speaking with TMZ, Russell Simmons reacted clo to Glorilla receiving. A $500,000 bonus from Yo Gotti. If it was up to me, I would always say, don't waste it all on junk, Simmons advised. The junk, I'm not interested in it anymore. Maybe because I'm older. I don't like designer stuff so much. I don't want a lot of stuff that I used to want. But, you know, kids have to experience what they do, right? I hope she saves some. You don't need to spend it all. Operate from a place, a calm place. You're an artist. You need to be present. Operate from a place of needing nothing. A calm space. And the junk that you get when you become a star, it really takes you off course and you begin to lose your way. So, a couple of years, maybe you're not as talented because you've invested in stuff that doesn't make you happy. But your art is your thing that makes you happy. And that's a very important thing that you got to remember. She has to remember that writing and performing as well as being an artist is what makes her happy. Not the stuff. The results of her labor are just results. So, sit in the present moment. Be happy. And embrace yourself. And embrace yourself. And don't let the money destroy your future. Um, if... <laughs> Hug nigga B. Wow. Good advice. Uh, Glorilla has been making plenty of noise from her viral hit song. But after the signing she made with CMG CEO Yo Gotti, fans begin to pull up old Facebook posts on the rapper supporting Young Dolph. As we previously reported, fans were upset that Big Glow was reportedly co-signed by Dolph first before he died. Hmm. Glorilla has yet to comment to backlash online. Very interesting. So if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you in the next video. Because you know what that's telling me? I know how it go. Okay. Never mind. I'm just going to leave it there. What y'all think about that? Is it just another... Shooting as usual, or you think this is somehow related to Yo Gotti and the business that he does? All right, we'll see you in the next video.